Hi, I'm Christine Coburn, Head of Patient Support and Operations here at Rare Cancers Australia. For years, we've been hearing phrases like person-centred and patient-centric, but what's the reality for patients in the clinical setting and socially? What does it mean in their lives? Is it a reality or is it still a concept? How can we break through the buzzwords that give the illusion of action? How can we look beyond the excuses and prioritise the lives of Australians living with cancer? How can we genuinely measure and value the lived experience of people living with cancer today to improve the state of play for patients of tomorrow? Broadening the conversation around the world and across sectors help us to have blue sky conversations about how things could really be, about innovations that could really change the way things are done, about how we can create a reality, a new reality for people living with cancer in Australia. Dr. Amy Abernathy, who spearheads the clinical data side of Google at Verily Life Sciences. She's the leading international expert on real world evidence and big data and its applications in the health sector, practicing under the firm belief that all of healthcare can learn from the experience of every patient. Dr. Vishal Batnagar, who heads up the patient-focused drug development program at the FDA in the USA. Dr. William Smith, a previous advisor to the White House and a visiting fellow at the Pioneer Institute in Boston. Jane Tiller, an Australian lawyer and genetic counsellor, a specialist in genomics and public health and a senior advisor at Monash University. People should not be defined by their diagnosis. They're more than a number and they're certainly not just an entry on a spreadsheet. At the CAN Forum, we're thinking outside of the bubble of excuses. Excuses that deny patients the best standard of care and a right to a long and healthy life. Register today to join us on November 26th online at rarecancers.org.au forward slash canforum 2021.